The word of the Lord says, you shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. I want to share with you this testimony by Pastor Bradley Hanfield, which corroborates this important verse in the Bible. I want to take this opportunity to share my story of how actually I am still alive because at some point in my life, around when I was about three years old, I was diagnosed with acute pneumonia. And back in those days in North Caicos, the only medical facility that we had was a small clinic. And that clinic was uh, always managed by a single nurse and there was no doctor on staff at the clinic. So at the time when I was diagnosed with, uh, with, with pneumonia, there was no doctor on the island and the doctor had to come from Grand Turk from time to time to visit, visit the patients in North Caicos. By the time the doctor came to North Caicos on that particular occasion, my situation had already escalated to the point where when the doctor examined me, he told my mother that there was nothing that he could do for me because I had acute pneumonia and my lungs were completely infected. And so he told my mother that the only thing he could recommend to her was that she'd take me home and make me as comfortable as she could and within uh, perhaps two weeks time I would have expired and so having no other uh, choice, no other uh, opportunities for medical attention my mother took the advice of the doctor and took me home and tried to make me as comfortable as she could. I, I mean, approximately two weeks after that, just as the doctor said, it, appears, it, it appeared as if I was going to die. And on that particular Saturday morning, when it appeared that I would die, back in those days, people would gather at the home where the person was ill, and so persons began to gather at our home. My mother was there. She was crying because it looked as if I was dying. And so in that atmosphere, a lady, an elderly lady, came to the house I mean, that morning. She was one of the persons who came to our house. And when she came in, she said to my mother, uh, Elmo, stop the crying because this boy is not going to die. He's going to live to declare the works of the Lord. And so she took my mother into the room where I was and they prayed for me. She prayed for me. That lady's name was, Aunt, we used to call her Auntie Mary. And Auntie Mary prayed for me. And after Two days, I sat up on the bed and asked my mother for something to eat. I had not eaten for a very long time. And so that was the beginning of my recovery. I had no medical attention. I had no, med no medicines were used. And so the only thing that my healing could be attributed to was that it was a miracle and so all my life as I grew up my mother always told me about that uh, time in my life when I almost died and she always reminded me that uh, Adi Mary said that the Lord said 
that I would not die, but that I would live to declare the works of the Lord. And so that story and that uh, situation in my life at that time has helped to shape my destiny because I believe that that was a prophecy when it was said at the time. And not only did a prophecy take place at that time, but also a miracle of healing took place. And uh, I am alive today because someone who had faith in God, someone who believed that she heard from the Lord, actually had the courage to speak what she believed the Lord was saying to her concerning my situation. And as a result of that, here I am today, alive. And guess what I'm, guess what I'm doing with my life? I am doing exactly what the Lord said that I would be doing with my life. I'm a pastor. I've been a pastor for the past 18 years. And what I've been doing is de declaring the marvelous and wonderful works of the Lord. I just want to encourage you that if you believe in the Lord, you too can live and not die. God bless you. I hope you've been blessed and inspired by the testimony shared by Pastor Bradley and Field. I have been blessed. And it's proof that you shall live and not die. And it's, it's also proof that the power of life and death is in the tongue. The doctor told his mother the best thing for her to do is to go home, comfort him until it was his time to die. But here was a woman, a mighty woman of God, and came to his mom and said, no, Alma, this child shall live and not die. So I, I'm, de I'm, I'm declaring to you today to speak those things in the atmosphere. You have a purpose. You shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord.